All right, so last week, Kirby Smart got paid. Rightfully so. Now he's the highest paid college football coach in the country, $13 million a year. I want to use that contract extension to talk about this topic, the new standard in college football. Because the old standard was Nick Saban, right? Like, he was the guy. College football ran through Alabama. Everything your team did, every time your team hired a new coach, the question was always, is this good enough to beat Alabama? If you had championship aspirations, you always had to go through the Crimson Tide. They ran the sport for 15 years. Nick Saban was the standard. But now that he's retired, I do think Kirby Smart slides into his role. He is now the face of college football. And the Georgia Bulldogs, I think, are now the standard for every other team in college football. But, but, unlike Saban, I don't think Kirby's alone. Saban was alone at the top when he was a standard for 15 years by himself. No one other program, no other coach touched him. Kirby, I think, is going to have some company at the top. I think four coaches now, moving forward the next decade, are going to be running the sport of college football. Kirby's obviously one of them. The other three, Dan Lanning, Ryan Day, Kalen DeBoer. I think all four programs, Georgia, Oregon, Ohio State, Alabama, are going to win a national title in the next decade. And those four teams, those four programs, those four coaches are now the standard in what is the new college football, right, with NIL, transfer portal, and now the expanded playoff. I think those four coaches better than anyone else in the country do the best job at recruiting high school students and also managing the transfer portal. And those are the two factors right now going forward where you have to master both in order to be a championship contender each and every year. I think those four do it the best. They, to me, are the standard going forward. Every other team, every other program has to match what they do. Let me just dive in really fast here. Kirby Smart is obvious, right? He's won two out of the last three national titles. The guy crushes it in recruiting. They've been the dominant program. They've been the talk of the town for the last three years, really, since they broke through. Kirby has shown you he can win the big game. They're going nowhere in terms of recruiting. This team is legit. Now, smart, highest-paid quarterback, uh, highest-paid, excuse me, head coach in the country. Georgia's going nowhere. They were the team that was the closest to Alabama when Nick Saban was there. Now that Saban's gone, again, Kirby Smart takes the mantle face of college football. But I think other the other three coaches are right there with him. Let's start with Ryan Day first. Ryan Day gets a lot of flack for losing one game, Michigan. I want to shine a light to the other games he wins, which is like 95% of them. All the guy does is win. And why I think going forward, there's a reason to believe Ryan Day is going to win a national title and going to consistently be in the national championship picture is because look at this past offseason. Another loss to Michigan, right, to end the year. End your playoff hopes right there. And for the third straight year, you lose to the Wolverines. Well, what happened after that loss to Michigan? Ryan Day went out and had the best offseason he's ever had as the Ohio State head coach, ever. Both in recruiting and in the transfer portal. Number one, even before those two things, he kept everyone on his team basically believing. Outside of Marvin Harrison Jr., basically 95% of draft-eligible players that still had eligibility to return to college football all decided to return. Some big-time players, some possible first-round picks decided, you know what, I'm going to stay another year. They believed in Ryan Day, to turn this program around and break through, they put their NFL careers on hold to come back and play for Ohio State. And it's not just players on his own team believing in Ryan Day. It's also players on teams around the country. Look at who he got in the transfer portal. He got Will Howard from Kansas State. Okay, is he the best quarterback? No. Solid, though. Solid. You got Caleb Downs. You could argue maybe the best player in the transfer portal. Freshman All-American out of Alabama. He goes on the transfer portal when Nick Saban retires. That is an um, outstanding get by Ryan Day. Caleb Downs is not going to Ohio State if, one, he doesn't think Ryan Day can make his career for the NFL better, and, two, if he doesn't think he can actually win a national title. Caleb Downs going from Alabama to Ohio State showed you 
He believes Ryan Day's championship material. But it's not just Caleb Downs. His teammate Julian Sayan, big-time recruit coming out of high school, was in uh, for spring in Alabama, decides to hop in the portal once Saban retires. He follows uh, Caleb Downs to Ohio State. That is probably the Buckeyes quarterback of the future. Quinchon Judkins, best running back in the country. Gets him out of Ole Miss. Right? Lane Kiffin, the portal king. I know it's a little different because the guy who went to the portal is your own player if you're Lane Kiffin, but still, he was able to get not only Judkins to go to Ohio State, but also go to Ohio State with the fact that Travion Henderson, the Buckeyes' number one running back the last few years, is returning. So you got Henderson to stay, coming off injuries, and you got Judkins to come on over and share time. That's an amazing recruiting job. That's a loaded backfield. And also, by the way, you add Chip Kelly to your staff. Look, I got, look, I would rather personally have Ryan Day call the plays than Chip Kelly. That's my preference. But Chip Kelly's a good offensive mind, really good when it comes to the run game. And so now you have two big time running backs in that backfield. That run game is going to be humming. Even with questions about the offensive line and quarterback, that run game should be humming. Ryan Day had all of these players believe in him, both on his team and outside the team, that he has, I mean, I would argue right now, even a more talented roster than Georgia. I think Ohio State's going to be the preseason number one team when the preseason rankings come out in August. They are that good, that talented, that deep on offense and defense. That is because players believe in Ryan Day. Listen to what they're saying. Ryan Day is legit. I know he lost to Michigan three years in a row, but guess what? Michigan's about to take a step back. You're good, Ohio State fans. I promise you Ryan Day is going to break through soon here, win a national title. That Ohio State is one of the teams that is setting the standard in college football. The other one is Dan Lanning and Oregon. <laughs> well, D- Dan Lanning is building an absolute monster right now in Eugene. I mean, this is a guy that just registered the number three recruiting class uh, this past cycle for high school players, and then had the number two rated transfer portal class, including getting Dylan Gabriel out of Oklahoma, who's going to be his quarterback for 2024. Last year, in case you forgot, Dylan Gabriel at Oklahoma, top 10 in the country, not in the Big 12, top 10 in the country, passing yards, passing touchdowns, and passing efficiency. He got him for 2024. He also went into the portal and got Dante Moore, former four-star quarterback at UCLA last year. It was kind of up and down, not a great year. But he was a big-time quarterback recruit coming out of high school. And there was one of the most highly-rated uh, highly rated quarterbacks in the transfer portal as well. Landon got him. Got a, his quarterback in the present. Got his quarterback right now of the future. He's done a tremendous job, again, both recruiting high school and transfer portal players. He's done a great job at developing players offensively and defensively. Oregon... I mean, it makes sense because he was on the staff. Oregon is going to, to me, be built like Georgia 2.0. Be Georgia of the West Coast. This team, I think, is going to go into the Big Ten 1A with o- with Ohio State. Going nowhere anytime soon. Dan Lanning has that recruiting tenacity that Kirby Smart has where he just never stops. Always recruiting 24-7, 365. That's going to get a lot of talented players to UG. Oregon is going nowhere. They are legit. Dan Lanning is going to be one of the coaches running college football for the next decade. Ducks are breaking through. They're winning a national title here in the near future. And finally, look, I know Alabama was just there. I know the greatest coach of all time just retired in Nick Saban. I still think Alabama right now is a standard. And Kalen DeBoer is one of the four coaches that should be looked at as a standard in college football moving forward. You want to know why? Because as DJ Khaled said, all Kalen DeBoer is win, win, win. No matter what. I'll save you the rest of the singing because uh, it's pretty bad. Um, but all the guy does is win. Look at his career record. In his career, 104 and 12 record as head coach. But what impresses me the most about Kalen DeBoer is not only can he win anywhere. He's won at NAIA. He's won at Fresno State. He's won at Washington. You know what Kalen DeBoer does? He not only wins, he wins the big games, which we know in college football, right? you get two or three of those on your schedule a year. You got to win the big games. That's what matters. That's what Kalen DeBoer does. Between his time at Fresno State and Washington, DeBoer played 14. There you go. 
14 ranked opponents. His team's record in those games, 12 and 2. 12 and 2. They were outstanding. They rose up. They beat Oregon three times in two years. All the guy does is win big games. That ain't going to change. That is not going to change, I promise you. He's an offensive wizard. Look what he did with Michael Penix at Washington in, in two years. I got some questions about the fit with Jalen Milrow and, and how good he can be, especially as a passer, where that is a passing offense and a deep passing offense. I got questions about Milrow's consistency and accuracy. But give Kalen a year or two, kind of settle down, get his guys in there. The dude is going to win a lot of games. And we're going to be talking about Alabama just like we were when Saban was there, about being in the national title contention discussion every single year. This team is going nowhere. A great hire by Kalen DeBoer, but now I think in this new era of college football, they're not going to take a step back. And so when you look at now, like the sport, right, with, with Nick Saban retiring, I think it is the dawn of a new day. He ran the sport for 15 years. The guy won six national titles and nine championship game appearances in 15 years. He's unbelievable. He was the standard of college football for 15 years. We, though, have a new day. Kirby Smart, I would say, is the face of college football. But when it comes to the standard, when it comes to which coaches are now going to take that mantle, take the reins from Saban, and run the sport, let's say, for the next decade at least, Four coaches. Kirby's not going to be alone. He's up there, but so is Dan Lanning, Ryan Day, Kalen DeBoer. Those are the four coaches that are going to be running college football for the next decade, bare minimum. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're watching this right now on YouTube, Ryan Hickey's the channel name. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you throw it a like, throw it a subscribe. Comment below. Whether it's Agreement, disagreement, a coach that you think is also on the level of Kirby Smart, Dan Lanning, Kalen DeBoer, Ryan Day that I didn't list. If you want to take one of those coaches off and say they should not be in the same discussion as Kirby Smart, tell me why in the comment section below. If you're listening right now on our podcast feed, available wherever you do get your pods, Hick at Night is the podcast title name, uh, Night spelled N-I-T-E. Just for those, you know, kind of Nick at Night, Hick at Night, kind of played it right there. Um, tweet me. Ryan underscore Hickey in the number three. That's where we're on, are on uh, Twitter. We're also on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Hick at night. Night spelled again, N-I-T-E. Comment if you want. Go into the YouTube page while you're there. Throw us a, uh, throw us a subscribe. Throw us a like as well. Give me, I want to hear your feedback here and what you think about this. As we get set, get closer to college football. Now Kirby Smart is the highest paid coach in the country. Well deserving. Who are the faces? Who's the standard right now of college football as we go into a new era? of our favorite sport.